Well, hello and welcome back. My name is Bluebelly, and we are hanging out on this beautiful day. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. We are actually going to bump this down to real time so we can get these bean fields done. We're going to get them done. We're going to use this. Beautiful case sixteen sixty. And every penny, every penny we make from these beans is going to go to pay down our debt. No more, no, we're not buying any more bells and whistles on this farm. We're going to get it done. So I'm going to do a headland on this thing. I don't have the soybean harvest, straw harvest mod on, so we won't be messing with straw at all. We're going to get the beans in the truck, and we're going to get the truck to the sell point, and we're going to get our money paid down as much as we can and the rest is pretty much going to be emptying the silage and selling the milk and selling the pigs until we have every penny paid off. I know it might not seem like we can get to two hundred thousand dollars anytime soon but I think we're, we're getting closer we're closer than we've ever been before, as as some 70s classic rock artists probably said. Nice little stump there. See, little details like that really do it for me. Like, the map maker didn't need to do that, but they did, because it's awesome fine details. I love just looking at, you know, th this is like an off the beaten path part of this map. Most people probably, I don't know, I shouldn't say most, some people probably don't do anything ever here. I've enjoyed the way that I've played this save, but I do think it'd be cool to play and run both farms. Like, I'll run all the livestock. So by both farms, I mean this dairy with pigs and that one over there with the sheep and, um, I almost said the sheep and the goats, with the sheep and I think horses are over there or maybe chickens. I don't know. I think that'd be fun to just, you know, truly farm manager style instead of doing as much field work myself, like put those on workers and be running equipment to you know to and from places more so than actually doing the jobs could be cool but I enjoy this quite a lot so happy to do it all right if the headland you know th this would be a cool calculation if the headland yields X what do you multiply it by I'm gonna say something like the headland is probably between a quarter and between 20% and 25% of the total field. Is that? I guess it would all depend on the size of the field. I'm going to say the total yield of this field will be 7,000 soybeans. That's my final answer. Sorry, that was a really bad Regis Philbin accent. If anybody remembers the old... Are they going to straighten that out? Sweet. If anybody remembers the old Who Wants to Be a Millionaire show. That's what I was 
mimicking. Alright. I really like this truck a lot. Very cool truck. Uh... So while that's working there, until this first load is done, let's check pigs, cows. That's still quite a bit of TMR. Lovely. What do we have? Four big hay bales. Sickle bar mower. Rake. Uh, I don't see a lot that we have to... Okay, well, this is what we have to do then, apparently. Fire this person. And do this ourselves. I was really hoping that I'd be able to get another job done around the farm while we have a hired worker do this, but maybe that was wishful thinking. That's okay. I like doing this. I like it. I, I don't know what got them confused. It looks like they made the turnaround fine. But maybe it was one of those cases where they were doing the, like, trying to back up. The crop looks so nice because we got rid of all the weeds. Um, that's a feels real good, man. Uh, I, I feel silly taking screenshots because it's all the same equipment that we've been using for this whole series pretty much but at the same time you know you need a screenshot for the thumbnail so all you beautiful people will click on my stuff which by the way I'm having fun and I'm not worried about numbers. But if you have any friends that you play farm sim with, or that you know like this game, or that have ever seen a cow, or driven a tractor, or went to the fair, or like the color red, or are decent human beings. You could share this with them, you know? Just be like, hey, this dude said, if I know any decent human beings, share them, share this video with them. And I think you're decent, so here you go. I mean, who, who doesn't want a compliment like that? I think you're a decent human being. In a world that lacks decency, be a decent human being. The more you know. Ba, ba, ba. I think this is this is taking a minute. For some reason, I always anticipate that this harvester is faster than it is. Or maybe I anticipate that I'm a better driver than I am. I think the capacity on this truck is like 15,000, right? 14,000, 15,000? So we might get the entire harvest in one load, which you know what that means. 
probably going to have to stick around till next episode to find out how much we make. Because if we're being honest, this has taken a long time. And we're what? On our one, two, three, four, fifth, fifth lap up and down the field? Gonna be gonna be a minute. At the breakneck pace of four miles an hour. I wonder if this needs to be maintained. Or maybe four is just just as fast as she'll go. I mean you plant at six miles an hour, so I can imagine running a harvester is actually a pretty complicated job for the harvester. I have so much respect for the people that mod these things. Look at this. I mean, it's got high detail, good, good lighting, moving parts. I mean, look at this. This turbine on the back is spinning. The exhaust on the top looks like exhaust. You know, of course, all the functions function, though. The header up front spins. The pipe comes out. The grain comes out of the pipe. Everything, it just it just works. The wheels look good. Oh, look at this little job. That's cool. Would that be a cutter, maybe? Some kind? Sorter, maybe? Oh, you can see. Are you kidding me? You can see the beans in there. Hmm. Does that texture change, or is it always like that? Wow. Oh, there they are. That's very cool. remember where I got this mod. I want to say it might be on the mod hub now, but I can't remember where I found it. I just, is I, I belong to some Facebook groups and as soon as they, as soon as a, a mod that I like comes up, I just download it and toss it in my mod folder. And I don't always pay attention to where they come from. And I know that really upsets some people, especially the people who spend hundreds of hours making these things and then I'm like I can't even remember who made it. I really should do what Sim Farmer does and make like a mod document so people can go and get stuff. Which by the way, if you don't know Sim Farmer, he's a UK based farm sim player who does not use any uh he doesn't comment on almost all of his videos. Most of them are time lapse and the really cool thing is you know he plays on PC and he uses cool mods and he has that document so like if you see something that he's playing with and you're like wow I really want to use that I really want to try that you can go to that document and you know that anything he links is primo it's gonna be good quality that you're not gonna have errors with your game you know he's somebody who is doing the right the right thing you know sometimes you go to a mod site a third party mod site and you're gonna get mods that are stolen or that have been poorly converted from earlier versions of the game they're poorly optimized like one of the things I learned from the putzing around with modding that I tried to do was that I just don't have the attention to detail that you need to do that. I have the interest and I I can get things right 
if I am you know really working at it I can be that kind of detail oriented if I absolutely have to but what I realized was that's not something that I want to do for my relaxing downtime be uber detailed on something like that so you have to take into consideration your own proclivities your own personality and using sim farmers a curation basically has been really nice for me he runs he tends to run farms that are a little bit bigger than what I do he'll run small equipment for like three episodes and then by that point because he's he's playing so much so fast he's already upgrading to medium and large size equipment on almost every save might be a few that aren't like that but it's looking like our our harvester uh, capacity is pushing 7,000 so that's good maybe two harvesters full in that truck we'll have to see nice to see that the neighbors one field is ripe when ours is I haven't done a lot of contract work on this save one thing I tried the other day I was playing a save and I took out a contract on this huge canola field I think it was canola and I got I don't know I was probably I was 10,000 liters into a field that would have been every bit 40,000 so I just I my equipment wasn't right and I was kinda like why did I take on this contract I, I don't want to do it so I canceled the contract so I didn't get the money for the contract but what I didn't realize was gonna happen was it kept the canola in my in my grain truck so I was like well I guess I'll go dump this and I took it and it, it, it actually paid me for it and canola pays pretty well so I was like oh this this is like a whole thing this is like a whole strategy you could just do that <laughs> You could just take out contracts and get the grain. I mean, I've usually done that with the overage, but I've never actually kept the grain. If I get out of this and get in the truck to see how much it capacity, is it going to keep unloading? It sounds like it. It is. Perfect. All right. So just over 6,000 is going to be, oh my, this capacity is much higher than I thought. Oh yeah, this will definitely hold the whole harvest. Great. All right, that'll save us running around. What? Oh, cut back in the truck. <laughs> Stop getting in the truck. Okay, that was weird. Sorry about that for insulting everyone with my incompetence.
Who wants to do some math while we finish this field? Let's let's do some quick math here. Let's just look at soybeans, grain elevator, 1900. So at 1900 per thousand. It's a little over 10 grand we just dumped in there. About 11 grand we just dumped in there. How many more of those do we have? Are we going to get 50 grand out of this harvest? 60 grand? 40 grand? I'm going to say 32,000. That's my rough guess. If you're watching this before the next episode is out, you want to have a guess. Knock yourself out. I say 32. Let me know what you think. Okay, now I say... 31,885 because I missed that little bit. <laughs> Farm sim humor. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Alright friends, well, I don't want this episode to get too long. So I will see you in the next one where we will be continuing or finishing, hopefully, at least continuing, hopefully finishing this harvest. It's, wait, 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 I've got a dad joke for you. Don't leave. It's been great having you. Ah, 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 ah. See it.